What's good everyone? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to stop Fortnite from crashing and fix absolutely any issue that you were having with this game. Because I know Fortnite tends to have a lot of issues, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into the video. So the first thing that we're actually going to go ahead and do, and this is going to be the first and simplest thing to do during this whole entire how-to video. So firstly, we're going to want to go ahead and open up Epic Games Launcher. Should take a little bit of time, you know, obviously however long it takes. So after you open up Epic Games Launcher, one thing I'd recommend doing is actually just deleting any sort of friends that you don't talk to anymore or play with. And also whatever you, if you have incoming friend requests, just make sure you go ahead and delete these as well. So just go ahead and delete any friends that you don't talk to and or of course, any friends that have added you. And the reason why this can help out a lot is because having too many friends puts actually a lot more strain on your PC, believe it or not, because that's to render in all of those friends and it could lower your FPS as well. So if you want to stop your game from crashing, be sure to do that. Make sure to have as least as many friends as possible. So secondly, make sure you have do not disturb on as well. This also just stops messages from coming in that could help make your PC crash. These are all things that are pretty subtle things, but actually do make some sort of a difference. Next thing is actually just making sure that your Fortnite is actually up to date. So you want to make sure that you go to your library, come over here and go to manage and go to verify files and just go ahead and click verify. Now I'm not going to go ahead and verify because I don't need to, but all that you need to do is just click verify, wait the five to 10 minutes it takes to make sure all the files are correct and in the right place. And if it needs any to fix, it will just go ahead and update the game and make sure you have auto update on as well to make sure you're all the way up to date. And secondly, make sure that your installation is on an, not a hard drive, but an SSD. Okay. Make sure you're on an SSD. Now, believe it or not, that can also make your game crash. Okay. If you're on a hard drive, hard drives are really slow, but you want to make sure that you're on an SSD. So next you can turn on launch options and just go ahead and copy and paste this right here. I will go ahead and keep this. I'll put this in the description. So just go ahead and pause the video, go to the description and take a look. And I'm going to have this exact text that you need to type in right here into the launch options. Okay. Go ahead and do this. And this is going to give you insane FPS. It's going to unlock all your cores for Fortnite. It's going to give you no texture streaming. You don't want any of that because it's going to lower your FPS a lot and it could make your game crash as well. So after you do that, you're going to go ahead and go to, I believe it's options. And then you're going to want to go and make sure you have core battle rail on. Okay. It's 50 gigabytes. It's a big game now, obviously, and you can have save the world. You can have this on or off. I recommend having it off actually. Okay. So next high resolution textures. So if you have DX 12 or use DX 12, you can have this, but it is 18 gigabytes of storage. It's just not worth it for 18 gigs. I would just have this off because first of all, most people play on performance mode. If, you've heard, if you're watching this video, you more than likely play on performance mode, but make sure to have this off. If you play on DX12, have it on if you want, okay? So DX12 shaders, you can have this on or off. I have this on, this is up to you. It's just because it's a lot less gigabytes and you can have this on. DX12 will look amazing with both of these on, but just have it on check marked, okay? Uh, Pre-download stream assets. You can have this on or off as well. Uh, I would make sure to have this on actually, because if you have it off, it's going to download all these streaming assets from the internet. So let's say like back blings, skins, um, pickaxes, it all downloads from the internet. So just having a check mark, make sure you have pre-downloaded assets on. Okay. It's just better. So what you're going to do next is you're going to want to go to your search and go ahead and search recycle and go ahead and open up recycle bin and make sure that you empty out anything inside your recycle bin. Go to search again and search up percent uh, TEMP percent. Go ahead and open up the file and make sure you just delete every single, every single one of these files right here. They're just temp files. This could make your game crash by the way. And just go ahead and click skip right here. So if it comes up with this, just go ahead and click skip and then click uh, like just go again, okay? And then after you do that, it should delete them. And then you should be good. Next thing that you can go ahead and do is click search disk cleanup. Go to your drive that's Fortnite is on. Click OK. And then come over here and then make sure all these are check marks. OK. And then click clean up system files. Click OK again. It's going to calculate. Let it calculate real fast. It's going to take a little bit of time. And then click OK and then delete files. And then this is going to take about like, sometimes it could take five to 10 minutes. Depends on how many files you have on your PC, but it shouldn't take that long. And after you do that, 
you should be good. The last thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and click search again on your keyboard or the Windows key as always, and go ahead and search percent local app data percent. And then go ahead and open the file and then come over here and find Fortnite, okay? Fortnite game, or I believe it's like Fortnite or Fortnite game. One of them, just go ahead and try to find it. Uh, sometimes it could be a little hard. Yeah, Fortnite game right here. Go ahead and click saved and go ahead and go to config. And I believe it is a Windows client and game user settings right here. So if you're having problems with the game, you can go ahead and just literally come over here, click the trash bin and then recycle, like clear your recycle again. And then after you do that, it's going to reset your whole game user settings. Now, this is not going to change your keyboard settings, mouse settings or anything like that. It's just going to change your graphical settings mainly. That's pretty much it. And also your resolution as well. But go ahead and do that and that should be the last step and then if that doesn't work either i would just go ahead and go ahead and re-download the whole entire fortnite game and do those same steps as well and you should be good so it is the end of the video thank you all so much for sticking around hopefully this video did help you out in absolutely any way and if it did don't forget to drop a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and yeah don't forget to use credit code switchy in the item shop and i'll see you on the next one stay safe take care and peace out